I just got a call from a friend of mine who wants to take me out varminting. He's got a couple farms not too far from here that he wants to go shoot some chiselers on. And so he asked the question that put me into a fetal position in the corner. He says, what rifle are you going to bring? It's like trying to choose between my children. First gun. This is the Air Arms TX200. This is not a firearm. This is an air gun, a pellet gun. And oh, if there was a sweeter pellet gun, I don't know what it is. This Air Arms TX200 is often the model that wins the field air gun matches. It's heavy, it's solid, it has a Beautiful stock. I mean, look at this thing. Ooh, it is a sweetheart. It's a pull down lever that cocks it and then it fires, right? So, the one negative that I have about this is it goes into safe every single time you pull the lever. This thing shoots a crazy good group. And if you get this in 22 caliber, will absolutely kill any kind of squirrel or varmint dead. So this is a sweet gun. This is for the refined gentleman. This is somebody who wants to kill varmints, but do it in style. All right, the next option. This is for the sporting enthusiast. This is the CZ457. It, oh man, it's so sweet. It's got a great rigid stock on it. It's a trainer model, so it's got a little bit of a longer barrel. This is a very, very common choice if you're shooting NRL 22 matches. I just shot my first one last month, and let me tell you, I am hooked. I'm gonna go shoot that 22 match every single month. It's cheap, it's way cheaper than shooting PRS for the weekend, and you're getting the exact same kind of training. Man, I love this, 22 is awesome, and then you can take this one out and shoot varmints, as well as go shoot on the match, and they're incredibly accurate. This one is topped with the Arkin SH4 Gen 2 4 to 16 by 50, which is an awesome scope for the NRL 22 competition. What a gun. Next great choice for varminting is just your typical AR-15. YouTube moderator person, this one has no magazine in it whatsoever, so this is not violating any rules, and I shoot this with a 20 round magazine, not a clip, despite what your rules say. Um, when I have to film it on YouTube. So this is a Bear Creek Arsenal AR-15. It's a chambered in 223. 223 is an awesome cartridge for varminting. The only problem with 223 is often in an AR-15, it's not that accurate. And so you need an AR-15 that's pretty accurate to go varminting. I mean, some of these animals are pretty tiny, right? And if you're already not that accurate, if you're you know just shooting standing or something like that, it can be pretty tough to hit. 223 is also a good choice if you're you know double doing double duty here and you're shooting some varmints and also predators like coyotes. So 223 is a very common choice, but you got to get one that's pretty accurate if you're going to be doing some serious varminting with it. Speaking of accuracy, a gun that has really surprised me is the Christensen Ranger 22. It has a fiberglass stock, carbon barrel, it's super lightweight, and it is crazy accurate. Very nice gun, except the action is really wonky on this thing. I mean, it feels like an accident when you the cock on closes so stiff on this. I've heard reports of this breaking here, the, the bolt handle. Um, it's an incredibly, incredibly accurate gun, especially for what they're asking for. And so I think for varminting, excellent choice in 22 long rifle. This gun... <laughs> so the AR-15 is if you're, you know, you're a redneck varminter. You just want to get out and plink some stuff. We saw the Air Arms TX-200 if you're the refined gentleman and some enthusiast rifles, the Christensen Ranger and the CZ457. This is for the sniper. This is for somebody that wants a squirrel dead now. <laughs> this thing is crazy accurate. This is a Bagara Premier. This is chambered in 22-250, so we're not messing around. This is an excellent coyote gun, 
And also, I mean, you could use it on varmints as well. I have this thing suppressed. If you wanna shoot a tiny, tiny little group, this is what you're looking for. It's a heavy chunk of a gun to be carrying around varminting. But if you're gonna be shoot, you know, going to a hilltop and kind of shooting at things for a while, that is a great choice. Next would be a Ruger American. This is the Ruger American Predator, but they make a, several different versions of the Ruger American, including some that have a chambering for 17 HMR that would be an awesome choice for varminting. 17 HMR is so cool. I mean, this started out as literally a nail gun uh, using the nail gun case that they've just developed into a rifle cartridge. Such a cool round. A Ruger American is a good choice. All right, there's one that I forgot to mention when I was recording this and I'm gonna slip it in while editing. It's probably my number one dream varmint rifle, but I don't have one. It's the FX Wildcat Mark III with the bottle. This is an air gun, it's not a firearm, but it's a PCP air gun. So you basically, you get a scuba tank that you have to fill up at a scuba shop and then you can fill up your air gun multiple times. It's shooting you know, 22 or even much bigger, you can shoot big old slugs, but I'd probably get it in 22. And, oh, it's just so sweet. I've owned PCP air guns in the past and they're just so fun because it just makes no noise, no recoil. It costs nothing to go shoot this thing. It's a quiet choice. Oh man, it's just super cool. Now get out there and do some damage.